hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Yeah. So guys, while I was at the craft fair, I got to see Santa Claus. And I got to tell him what I wanted for Christmas. And I got to take a picture with him. Here's my picture. I love this Christmas tree. And Santa is super nice. Why is that? Fair, I met this sweet old lady that's selling knitted doll clothes. And Cecilia is modeling the journey gown that we purchased with the mop cap. I just think that this country little outfit is so adorable and it fits the Cabbage Patch Kids perfectly. So next we have Julie right here on the American Girl doll stand and she is modeling this cute little knitted sweater which has lots of colors on it that has this cute little hat. It's so adorable. These creations were made by So Mean. They have an Etsy and Facebook page. So I why I was at the craft fair, I saw this little doll clothes shop. It's called Elegant Doll, and it make they make these clothes for Bitty Babies and the Big American Girl dolls. So we bought this dress. It's beautiful and white. It has a little bitty pink flowers and a pink bow right here. It kind of looks like a beautiful flowery gold dress, and then. Here we have some white shoes. Here's a close up of her beautiful little white shoes. You can find Elegant Doll Fashions on Facebook or Etsy. This is from Uniquely Ann Maeve, and <laughs> we think that it is very cute. <laughs> cute because this is kind of like a snuggie. For your baby doll and it came with an adorable little hat and john jacob fits in it very well here's a close-up of the information you can get this cute little sleeper snuggie next i went into this little doll shop where i met the sweet old lady that made like sleeping bags and swimsuits and shoes for American Girl dolls and so much more. And we have Isabel modeling this pink cheetah print swimsuit with these little silver sparkly sandals that she was sewing. And then I also got this sleeping bag from her that comes with a pillow in the sleeping bag. And Grace is in it. This sleeping bag is so simple and cute. I just love it. Here's a close-up of the information you need to order these items. Next, I met this couple that are selling scarves. And I got this one that is teal and it's so sparkly and blue. And I just loved it. And so cool. And they were uh, they also make these really cool these really cool pins and they also make seam rippers, which I got one for my grandma for Christmas, since it's almost Christmas time and she sews a lot. So what you do is you take the ends out and you turn them over and the ends are very sharp, so you have to be very, very careful. Here's a close-up of what the seam ripper looks like, and when you're done with it, you close it back up. The way you close it up is you just take the side out, and you turn it over and put the sharp side into the pin, and the round part out. And you do that, make sure to do that with both sides so no one will get injured with it. Every sew kit, I think, should have one of these. Here's a close-up of A&J's Handcrafted Pins business card. They make a lot of handcrafted things. So, I, I walked into this blanket shop 
and it had millions of blankets. And they asked me my favorite color, I said pink, because I love the color pink. So they pulled out this blanket, and it has like birds on it and lots of designs. I bet it took them hours to sew it, and every square has to be perfect. And they made it, and I just love it. It's so soft, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So let me stand up and show them how big this blanket really is. Wow. That is super big, guys. The other side is pink and my little sister Mercy's favorite color. <laughs> my grandma bought this quilt for me from Miss Gigi's quilts and things. And if you want a blanket just like this, you can order it online with this information. It's very comfy. Yes, it is, guys. I love it. I can't stop touching it. <laughs> Next, I found this super cool clock. I thought it was really cool. It's a flattened glass bottle made into a clock. It really works. And here's the information you can find your own at. This is an awesome, really cool design from Rebottled. Here's a side view so you can see how really flat this bottle is. We also got some really yummy fudge from Jenny's Fudge and Nights. Here's where you can find it. Doesn't it look yummy? Mmm. Mm. My the, favorite was the white almond. My favorite was the peanut butter. My favorite was the orange sickle. <laughs> it's actually called cream sickle, and it was my favorite. This is from Spiked Jellies, and it's a beer jelly. And it, this flavor is Belgian white with a hint of orange. Here's a close-up of their information because this was really unique. So, at the craft fair, representatives from Georgia Aquarium was there and we spin the spin wheel and they asked us questions. And if we got the question right, we won a prize. And we... And what we won was this boo-boo fish here. It's a little boo-boo pack. And I'm going to use it for my dollies like Prince George here. It's a little shark. And George here is going to love it. Here's everything that the Georgia Aquarium representative gave to us. Well guys, thanks for watching our videos and stay tuned for more fun with Craft Fair right here on New Toy Collector Family. Bye! Bye.